everybody, Indiana Caper here. I got out to mow the lawn today and the tire on the lawnmower was flat. So I put some air in it and it went flat again yeah, pretty quickly. So I uh, put it up on a little jack stand so I could roll the tires around fairly easily and found a little, a little hole right there. I think you can see the shadow that's uh, made by the sun here. You might be able to hear it. Maybe. But yeah, hole right there. So I'm not going to take the whole tire off and run it someplace. I'm just going to get my patch kit out and uh, see if I can patch it. So let me go get that stuff. Okay, I'm back. Actually, I don't know where the tire patch kit went to. Went to town and got another one. So uh, we're ready to go. It's still leaking, amazingly. Um, I know it's leaking here. I want to check see if maybe it's leaking anyplace else. But uh, yeah, I can definitely tell that. But that's just a little soapy water. To, I need a little bit more soap in there. But uh, that's okay. I'm just looking for any bubbles or where it's pushing the water up oddly. Valve stem looks good. Yeah, looks like just that, uh, just the one hole. This is a pretty straightforward process. I've got my cleaner. Just rub that back in there a couple of times. Get it all good and cleaned out. I've got these. They're uh, the plugs. Take one of these off. That threads through my needle here. Sometimes this is easier said than done. All right, got that about evenly spaced, and I'm just gonna push that in. Now that it's in, pull back quickly. This, uh, I don't know if you can tell it or not, it's got a little separation in the end of it, so it pulls out, and then uh, I'll trim that off. I'm gonna go get my snips. All right, pocket knife is handy, so I'm just gonna trim that off there now. Probably add a little bit more air. And yeah, it's all plugged up, no leaking. Now I can get back to cutting grass. Take care, everybody. 